Okay, where do I begin? Uh, this video is about how I met my Filipina and she became my wife. And it was a very quick romance, very quick uh, courting period. It was every bit online. And uh, according to all the vloggers, we did everything wrong. We made all the mistakes you should not make. And I'm the blame. But you know what? I do have a belief in my heart that it worked out for us. Now, I believe what they're saying. Typically, you don't do what we did. Um, chances are it, uh, you're going to make a huge mistake if you do what I did. And uh, so, yeah, we screwed up. We did everything wrong. So we're doomed. Okay, before I get into that, I want to explain why I have a YouTube channel. Okay, uh, I'm 64 years old, and I've seen a lot of technology in my lifetime. My mother has got over a dozen photo albums and uh, of memories. And uh, I remember when the big video cameras came out, my aunt and uncle got one. And I thought that was just so neat to be able to take videos. And when you get older and you look back at those videos, and it's just a lot of fun to watch. I myself had a uh, a little Super 8 camera, and uh, those videotapes, I, my daughter has them, and uh, I don't know if she ever made them over to DVDs or what, but to me those, those videos are gone, those memories are gone. So I was watching uh, Old Dog New Tricks, and uh, he created his YouTube channel because he wanted a video diary for his life, for his kids and his grandkids, and... Uh, I thought that is a great idea. This is the new technology. This is the new way to uh, save your family memories. So a lot of my videos, uh, the content you guys are not gonna be interested in, they're for me. They're for my family. They're my grandkids' birthday parties, uh, Christmas parties, church parties, Thanksgiving dinners, mom and dad's anniversaries, you know. Um, it's just, just a lot of family stuff that you guys are not going to be interested in. But I will try to come up with some good videos, some good content uh, for you guys to see. And they're also my memories. Uh, so hopefully some of my memories will, will be uh, good videos for you to want to watch. Okay, that being said, um, according to Filipina P., I actually uh, found the right Filipino. Uh, I'd never even heard of the Philippines in, in, until I met my wife. And uh, I have watched a lot of videos about the Philippines since then. As a matter of fact, I watch them every day. I go to sleep at night watching YouTube videos. I set my timer on my TV for an hour and uh, I will find some vlogger that's that's new who has less than a thousand subscribers or maybe it's someone new who just uh, started I mean they got their thousand but they need four thousand watch hours and uh, I'll play a bunch of their videos I'll cue them in and let them play throughout while I'm asleep I'm not hitting the like button I'm not commenting but uh, I'm helping you out so you're welcome and if anybody has a new channel out there let me know in the comments. I'll, I'll go subscribe to your channel and uh, I'll help you out if I can. Uh, let's see. In 2019, I, I found a, an Asian lady on uh, one of the dating sites here. I don't remember which one it was. Uh, and uh, she was in Little Rock visiting a friend. Uh, so uh, we chatted and then we, we, we talked on the phone and we decided that uh, we would arrange a weekend and I would come down there and uh, we would see each other. And uh, I had a really good time and uh, very fascinated with Asian culture. Uh, of course, that's another story in itself, but it didn't work out. <clears throat> and when I decided that I was ready, it was, it was in uh, fall of 2021, I guess. And uh, I decided to look for an Asian woman, nothing but an Asian woman. And I Google searched and came up with a, with a 
a site that was called uh, AsianDating.com, and uh, and that's where I met my wife. Met her on a dating site, AsianDating.com. Now, I met several while I was on there, and actually for the first time in a very, very long time since I was back in my prime, that is, I didn't feel invisible no more. I felt like uh, there were plenty of options. And uh, my search was for someone at least 40 years old. I had numerous 20-year-olds messaging me. I figured they were just scammers. <clears throat> but I thought, well, what would I have in common with a 20-year-old anyway? Just wasn't what I was looking for. And then uh, this this beautiful little lady, she messaged me and said, listen, I'm not from Malaysia. I'm from the Philippines. Uh, and in your profile, I assumed you were looking for someone from Malaysia. Of course, we chatted some, and then we end up... Uh, uh, doing a video chat because uh, I found her very interesting and I, and I didn't want to waste my time on a scammer and she felt the same way so we did the WhatsApp thing and we did a video call <clears throat> and uh, began to learn a lot about this lady and uh, I had never even watched any videos on the Philippines had no idea had no clue and uh, of course uh Months down the road, I watch these videos about how you the things you do not do. First of all, you don't meet somebody on a, a dating app and assume that they're a real person, that they're, they're real, that they are who they say they are. You definitely don't uh, have a virtual wedding and get married online, which we did. And, uh, you know, you don't do all these things before you actually meet each other in person and spend time together. We met December 17, and I don't know, it's just, uh, I just, a gut feeling, I could just feel it in my heart. This woman was genuine, and what she told me she was looking for in life was exactly what I was looking for. She reminded me of my mother, isn't that what they say? If you want a good woman, go find someone like your mother. Uh, she's a province girl. She has a college degree. Uh, she's working abroad, sending money home to take care of her two kids and, and uh, sending money to her mom and dad to help them. And uh, the way she was raised, the way that I was raised, I'm a country boy. And you can probably tell by my accent, I'm very Southern. And uh, our backgrounds are very, very similar. Just she's 8,000 miles away. And uh, we... I wanted to go see her, and uh, <clears throat> the country was shut down. There was no, there was no getting into the country unless you had a 9A visa. So yeah, I jumped the gun. I said, "Would you marry me? We'd we'll do a virtual wedding. I'll get my 9A visa, and then I'll come to the Philippines and see you." And uh, she said yes, and uh, she was just excited about it as I was. And so I contacted a company called Long Distance Love in Utah. They performed the ceremony. Uh, they set it up, set the ceremony up for February the 1st. Okay, so we met December 17 of 2021. In January of 22, I asked her to marry me. February 1st, we had a wedding planned. And, uh, and we've never even met in person. And we've only been chatting since December. Crazy, right? Okay. Uh, then they announced the country's opening up. February the 10th. We really didn't have to get married, but we did it anyway. We Nothing was going to change my mind at this point. And, uh, and most people say, yeah, you're just, you're crazy. You just don't do that. We did it. And uh, so we got married. And uh, now keep in mind, we video chat every day, several hours a day. We probably talk more than a lot of couples do, married couples that live in the same house together. Uh, I'm very fortunate to have a job I, I, at 1 a.m. in the morning, which is uh, 2 p.m. third time. And uh, we video chat until she goes to bed. 
Now, sometimes we she has things to do and she, you know, but off and on from 1 a.m. in the morning here until 8 30, 9 o'clock a.m. here, we chat. And then when she wakes up, so, so about 4 p.m. here, 5 a.m. the next morning, she's up and we start chatting again until I go to bed. So yeah, we, uh, we're building a relationship. Uh, not like I would like, but it's, uh, we uh, use the cards that were dealt to us. Um, March 28, uh, 22, I, I made my trip to the Philippines for the first time to meet my wife for the very first time. And uh, so we met in December, got engaged in January, got married online, but we're the first we meet each other for the first time, March 28th. And uh, she was everything I dreamed of. Uh, we had a magical two weeks together. We had a honeymoon in Boracay. We went to her family's uh, province and uh, we had a wedding, another wedding for family and friends. It was a wedding blessing. And uh, we have a video on that. It's, it's our most popular video. So, uh, had a magical two weeks, and then now it's back to LDR, and I get to go back uh, in April 1st of 23, be my second visit, and uh, we'll keep chatting every day, several hours a day until that time comes, and one of these days we'll be together. We're working on the visa process. It's taken a long time. We got everything ready except for the uh, uh, the PSA marriage certificate. And uh, hopefully within the next month or so, she can obtain one of those. And that's the last piece of information we need to submit our visa application. Uh, yeah, she's back home. She's not working abroad. I did not mention that. Uh, I told her to go home, be with her kids. And uh, we would just would take care of it. And she's gone back to school. She wants to be a nurse. She always wanted to be a nurse. And she will graduate in uh, June of 24. So even if she gets her visa, uh, she's going to stay there and finish her school. And I'm going to retire in December of next year. And then I'll be moving down there. And I will be staying there until she graduates. And then we're all coming back here to start our life. And... Uh, this will be continued. Thank you.